It feels like home, home, home. It feels like home, home, home. It feels like home. Hey there, welcome to Weldon Home. Today I wanted to give you an update on the basement. We've been um, gladly observing as my husband's been coming down faithfully a little bit every single day. And he's gonna talk to you a little bit about what he's done. We uh, put up studs, um, decided not to have any of the block showing. So we went ahead and put up studs. I did a, uh, a sheet of plastic <sighs> thick plastic so that uh, hopefully uh, the moisture that normally comes from the walls won't come into the room. We did that all the way around on the walls and then we built in the the uh, windows and I built in window boxes on all the windows and brought those out to the stud wall. The only weird part is uh, uh, in these rooms, they they ran the, the air conditioning ducts underneath the main beam, which is right here, and then back up into the uh, into the channels. but. Uh, uh, because of that, the air conditioning duct was coming out here and going up into the ceiling and then down there as well. And so we built these little boxes out of just three quarter inch glue board. I don't know what you call it, it's a like particle board. It's made it out of those for 10 bucks a piece. So I had a whole bunch of those and so we, I just cut up a couple of those. You come around this side and you can see what it would have looked like if I hadn't done that. And so this is, this is the closet area of this extra room or whatever it is. So we built in a wardrobe. There's enough room for a, a chest of drawers. And then right here, we're gonna put a queen size bed. So he'll actually have a bed here on this side. And then this side of the room is gonna be more like a sitting area and a place to put an entertainment center and um, stuff like that. Well, again, we just used this three, bar this three quarter uh, particle board on all these. So, you know, this, this was five bucks a piece to do these. And, and this, this I just used, uh, I went to Lowe's and just got some uh, six foot um, one by fours that were not super great wood, but as you, if you look through the pile, you could find a couple good pieces, which is what I did, because I only needed like 11 pieces is what I figured. And so I built in a, a, these around the, the windows. I built in the one around the, uh, the wardrobe in the other room. And then I just used uh, one by fours to do all the, the um, floorboard all the way around and so we're just using plain old one by fours and, and just filling that in and right now I'm coming around with um, just some joint compound and just filling in where all the cracks are because uh, the joint compound won't last very long it'll just kind of sink in and crack but then I'll come back over it with caulking and caulking is so expensive right now it's like four dollars a tube I just fill it in first with joint compound and that way it, it's mainly filled and then I come back in with the caulking because you need a, a latex caulking to keep it from um, to keep it from shrinking and to keep it from cracking. So this is the particle board that he's talking about. I mean, this super ultra cheap stuff, and that's what he used to frame out all the windows, and then he just joint compounded over the top of it to give it a nice smooth finish. The same here with the ducting covers that he hand fabricated. Um, so it, there are cheap ways to do things that end up looking good if you want to take the time to do this. Let's talk about the lighting too. So the lighting, um, I got these from Amazon. They were $5 a piece. They're, they're meant to go inside existing lighting where you're switching out to LED. But uh, I just mounted them straight up into the drywall and then put a box up in there on each of them. And so the, the wires run into the box. They're hooked to these. Uh, it's kind of an ingenious thing. Let me show you this. So these things are meant to go up inside an existing one. And so this screws up into where your light bulb would be, into the light bulb. Then this just folds up and slides up into the existing tube. And then this clicks together like this. And when it kicks on, then the LED is now your light bulb. And so it's cheaper for people because this is 14 watts. And so instead of a, an 80 watt bulb or a 100 watt bulb, like you'd use in a, a thing, you get 15 watts. Well, that's a heck of a lot cheaper on, on uh, your electricity bill. And nobody wants to pay electricity bills right now, do we? And so uh, uh, this is a very warm light. So as you see, it's coming out, it's very yellow. They can get really blue. The problem with the LEDs when they first came out, especially was they were not pretty light and, and they've gotten much better. I think this is livable. Well, I will eventually put a dimmer switch here and this will be where you can dim or come up and the whole room will have a, a much better ambiance at night. 
But anyway, the way I did it is I just cut this off. So, cause you didn't need to go up into a socket, cut this off. And that's what I ran my, my hard wires to all up inside one of these, uh, one of these little junction boxes. In each of these, I have one of those. And then out of the side of the junction box, I just have this running. So this comes up into the ceiling and I just have to click those two together and then two little screws. And the thing's up there and it's super fast. These were $5 a piece. So in this room, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have $30 worth of lighting in this room. And it's all LED and Total wattage would be 15 times six, which is uh, uh, 90 watts. So 90 watts to, to, to light this whole place. I think it's beautifully. And so today is an awfully gray day outside, but you can see it's nice and still light and bright. I got enough wiring that I think I got enough to do the whole basement, including the office and the theater. And it was about $200. So not terrible. Wiring has come down some was really high a year ago and it's it's come down a little so that's good um it's a good time to buy your wiring uh-huh we bought a lot of these supplies three years ago two two years, two years ago, ago. Mm -hmm. yeah quite a while ago because we were seeing the prices of these coming up and up and up and we knew we were going to do this eventually so i said why don't we first get on the materials while we can and while they're still cheap enough and so we did that for all of the projects that we knew we were going to do when we moved into this house. We bought this house significantly less than our last house sold for. So with the overlap, we went ahead and invested in some of the things that we knew we were going to need. And I, I think that was really smart. So we went ahead and got drywall. Um, the drywall was cheap. 10 bucks a piece, $9.99, I want to say, for half-inch drywall. Uh, so that's pretty reasonable. I think 24 for the whole room. 24 for the whole room. And so uh, uh, about $240 in plywood, uh, I mean in drywall. Uh, the wood for this um, was fairly reasonable because again, it got it before wood went through the roof. And so uh, the wood ended up being, I think $300 in wood we figured. So by the time we were totally done with everything that we had in this room, Paul, what did you say we had $850? I think we figured about $850, and that's including our carpeting, that's including um, the padding, carpeting, padding, all the tacking, everything in, uh, all the painting, and uh, everything. So the carpeting... So this room, with, with the closet and everything, is going to be about $850. And you start saying, you know, that's that's pretty cheap when, when you think about... Oh, it's so cheap. It's, you're you got another bedroom? Labor, if you're going to do all the labor yourself, you get a good deal. And a lot of the other things, like he was saying, the carpeting we got the same place from Junior, and he's someone that gets discounted deals through Lowe's, and so it's like an overrun of somebody else's order that they either didn't pick up or didn't need, and so then we buy it from him at a massive discount. So we got all the carpeting, and we also got the door here behind. All the carpeting the for the hole downstairs we yeah. got, and it's going to end up being hundred and two. $230, including the padding for all the carpeting for the whole downstairs. The padding we had to get separately on Facebook Marketplace. The padding we had was, was more than the carpeting, yes. which is very funny because the carpeting was very expensive, but we got a huge roll of it for a hundred bucks. Yeah. And, and we got the best padding. And you say a huge roll? Yes. There's no way I can pick it up without my tractor. <laughs> yeah. and I mean, John and I could never lift this roll of carpeting. No way. And so we, I have to use the bull on the tractor and we pick it up and with chains and the big old roll of carpet and, and I can move it around my property then and we can unroll it in the driveway. I'll try and show so. you in the next video what the carpet looks like. What's still to come? So what, what I'm doing now is I'm just doing some sanding. I'm doing some final filling like I showed you with the, this where I'm filling in with just dry, joint compound for now. Braid this room even though it's so small because it'll just go fast and, and I'll be able to uh, tape the little the little lights i'll tape the windows and come in and i can shoot the i can shoot the ceiling shoot the walls and i think we'll probably roll kills or something along the uh along the baseboards before we do anything so then uh then we'll come back in and just then we'll come back in once the walls are done and that and just uh 
just uh, do a little bit of rolling, do a little bit of touch up with cutting in with some brush work and, and it should be done. I don't know, I would say uh, within a week. Actually, I've got food paint for the walls and we got Valspar Signature, which is a very good paint. And I got five gallons for 50 bucks. 50 bucks, and 10 so, bucks a gallon, goodbye. Yeah, so I went ahead and got enough. Someone had a food paint. That's the way to go, you guys. If you can find somebody's food paint and you know, good quality paint, they so discount it. And it's the same price discounted if you get the good quality or the lesser quality. So look for their signature paint. It's, it's a much better deal for $50. So, so instead of $50 a gallon, it ended up being $10 a gallon. Much better. Yeah. Um, and I'll shoot that. She got enough. She got two 10 gallon, uh, she got two five gallons of that that are the exact same mix of goof paint that somebody mixed and then didn't want. And so poor Lowe's is there with a custom mixed paint that what do they do with? Well, they mark it down to nothing because who's going to want that exact color? We came in and looked at it and went, that's it's, a color I could live with. Yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of a. It's not perfect. It's almost the same color as the drywall, which isn't necessarily what I would have picked, but I really don't care. It's a basement. It's a basement. <laughs> and if the, if the whole thing's a really light gray, hey, guess what? The basement's a light gray. Yeah. This foil color, I'm going to shoot this white when I come in with the ceiling paint. And so this will all just be a flat white. And I don't think it'll jump at you at all. So this uh, is actually, so here's this hose, right? It's coming all the way across and the, the ceiling is hiding it. I went ahead and put a T in there, cut the hose in two, put a T in it, and then tie it into it with a downspout right here. So this, you can open and close. And when the HVAC is on in the house, if cold air is coming through, because it's summertime, then cold air comes out right here. And if he doesn't want any cold air down here, because it's cold enough, he can just turn this thing and it closes right up. And now the room is sealed and it's not getting any air. So as far as these windows, I know that's not code for a basement bedroom, but they actually remove entirely. There's little clips right here. You just go clip, 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 and then this whole thing will lift out. And once you've done that, all of us are small enough to fit through there and climb out if we had to. So that's one of the things that they want with a, a room is an escape. And so that's, you know. Code. 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 But if we ever went to sell this house, chances are this would not be included with the square footage because it's not exactly the way that they would want it to be exactly. Uh, the, the, the roof's not high enough. There's, there's problems with the, the size of the doors. There's problems with all, all kinds of stuff. And so uh, that's how we did the room four. Again, what was the overall cost? $850. Yeah, so adding a bedroom for our son for $850. I mean, we just, we actually went out to our sailing today and we couldn't get a piece of furniture for $800. I mean, they had like $1,200 on the big piece of furniture and I was thinking, we did our whole room for that. So, I mean, there are ways to do things efficiently and, and still very usefully and we're not planning to sell this house. So, anyway, the next project after this will be my office and then our movie room. Bit by bit, it's coming along, like I said, my husband works on it a little bit every single day when he gets home from work. And so bit by bit, he's just been coming down and working a little bit at a time. And a little bit by little bit, here we are. Anyway, that's it for our update. And um, I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope you're getting a lot done around your homestead. And we'll look forward to seeing you on the next video. Please like, subscribe, and share.